What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing what's in my hospital bag. So I am so excited to share and run through just all the things that I'm bringing. Uh, this is my second baby. So I've kind of learned and remembered from the previous time. Last time I 100% overpacked. So this is gonna be a realistic and what you actually need in your hospital bag. And also just a quick little disclaimer, I am going with a midwife, uh, but not with a midwife in a hospital uh i have a midwife that has their own like separate practice so the only difference is is really i'm not staying overnight so the only thing that i'm not including in this bag um that you would need for overnight is like you know shampoo conditioner like stuff to sh bathe yourself with and then maybe like blanket and pillow and things like that everything else is i feel like is you know essential whether you're at going with a hospital or with a midwife in their own separate practice so anyways if you are new subscribe for more weekly videos i do one to two videos a week on fashion and lifestyle would love to have you back and let's go ahead and dive right in so like i mentioned you really do not need a lot of stuff with you when you are going into labor and going to the hospital or at a midwife practice so everything that i have packed for me and baby is in here um so this bag here is from target actually very inexpensive i don't think they carry this exact one anymore i got this a little while ago but i will link some similar ones for you guys i love the size and the shape of it and i think it's just it's perfect for just kind of like a weekender bag so opening it up first thing that i recommend is having a laboring outfit however this is different for each mother whether you go to a hospital I believe you just wear a gown one of the hospital gowns and you just that's it uh, with midwives where I'm going I don't have that so I'm either naked <laughs> or I can have something to wear if I want to so if you're in my situation the laboring outfit that I decided to what I do what I think is best is you know wearing a bra this is just a super comfortable stretchy bra I got from Soma also everything I mentioned in this video I will link down below for you guys also and a robe so I wear this during labor as well so I'm not wearing underwear or anything like that but just a bra and this robe something super comfy very lightweight and then I definitely recommend having an extra bra so since I'm wearing a bra during labor I'm gonna get sweaty I'm gonna get hot this is probably gonna get dirty and blood on it that's what happened the first time because <laughs> I birthed in the bathtub I definitely recommend bringing an extra bra 100% so I am just bringing my nursing bra I got this off of Amazon in a three pack Pack cost me like $27, which is super inexpensive. This is also really good for fuller busts. So if you have a fuller bust like I do, it's amazing. It's supportive, it's comfortable, and it works just like a regular nursing bra. You just snap it open and then close it. I think this is just super nice bringing. So you just have, have something clean to put on, you know, after labor. You can easily nurse your baby in this as well. And then extra socks, and I'm wearing these right now, but slippers. This is gonna be great to wear while you're in labor if you want to. Also, after you deliver your baby, just something comfortable for your feet. And socks also, just so you have these to put on when you head home. Oh, and one thing I 100% recommend bringing, I did not bring this my last time, and I so wished I did. I think my midwives gave me a pair because I think they had it. Um, but it is postpartum underwear, so something Big, something stretchy something comfortable something that goes high-waisted as well and that kind of like tucks everything in like I feel like this is just one of the things you just need to bring along with like the an extra bra like a nursing bra um, postpartum underwear definitely so I'm only bringing one pair because again I'm not staying overnight so I don't need a bunch of extra things I just kind of need one of each thing pretty much I also recommend diapers as well yes diapers for yourself not just diapers for your baby but for yourself these are amazing I'm telling you we bleed so much once we give birth and it's kind of crazy but you know what you can bring your own uh, but double check with your midwife with your doctor most likely they have these there so you don't have to worry about it it's just nice bringing your own because then you can pick what kind you want to buy and just just so you have it it's just nice this is also um not like super necessary because your hospital or midwife might already have one mine did my midwife had it but it's a peri bottle so a spray so i decided to bring my own this time because i had a specific one that i wanted 
it's this one by freedom mom so the difference with this one is is that it has an angle so it's really easy to get down there and clean up and you know this is definitely optional if you don't want to bring it i totally get it you know we don't want to overpack and bring too much stuff but this is something i did really want my first time is a bottle that was a little bit easier to use because it was i'm telling you it was so hard to use the other ones that they have because it was just like a regular bottle with just a tiny nozzle at the top and getting down in there while you just gave birth and you're in so much pain was so difficult just having something a little bit nicer that's at an angle where i can sit comfortably and then spray and clean up I think is a really good idea and then I also like bringing a portable speaker so again this is also not not necessary at all but I love listening to worship music while I'm in labor I feel like that really really helps me okay and then the only types of toiletries that I'm bringing so I have this little bag I got this off Amazon by the way this is like super inexpensive I think it was like five or six dollars I'll link it down below it comes in tons of colors but it fits everything that I need so first one a hairbrush so you know I'm definitely gonna want to brush my hair afterwards what i have in here so deodorant so this is all for like afterwards Tooth toothbrush toothpaste um because i don't know when i'm going to be delivering like last time i delivered at night and it would have been nice having a toothbrush and toothpaste last time so i could brush my teeth because i didn't get a chance to do that and then i have face wash and lotion as well i think these are really good to bring lip balm as well i think is definitely super handy hair ties definitely bring hair ties because you're going to want to pull that hair back and get it out of the way once you're in labor pushing out your baby and things like that and then as far as makeup i know this it's all up to you girlfriend i'm telling you it's all up to you on how much makeup you want to bring if you think you are going to put on makeup at all for me the first time i gave birth i did not put on any makeup i brought makeup i bought like a whole like little cosmetic bag full of makeup i did not use any of it i did not care about putting on makeup at all but this time i'm just gonna bring you know just to see hey what the heck if i'm gonna use it i probably will i'm thinking this time maybe i don't know just a super light bb cream just something to put on my face uh give me a little bit of color and so i don't look dead and then some mascara these are kind of like my go-to you know just something super simple and light so that's everything in this little pouch and then you'll also want to make sure you bring a charger as well that's important too and your phone don't forget your phone also <laughs> and also an outfit to go home in so i just recommend something flowy stretchy something super comfortable to throw on when you're heading home so for me i am putting on a just like a regular t-shirt that's super stretchy some super comfy joggers i'm just bringing black basic joggers that are flowy loose um they're high-waisted i can pull them up and it's just gonna be super duper comfortable then over that if it's a bit chilly i will have this cardigan over as well okay and then you also want to pack i don't have it on me i haven't picked out what i want exactly yet. i'm actually filming this at 33 weeks so it's a little early for me to be packing this but some things i can't really pack right now so uh water bottles definitely bring water with you a hospital you know if you're there you know they're gonna have water midwives they're gonna have water so it's up to you if you want to bring some water bottles but you know that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna bring my own water and snacks as well so it depends where you're going i know at hospitals i think they tell you do not eat uh, while you're in labor my midwives actually encourage women to eat while they're in labor so they always recommend bringing water juices snacks even if you can't eat it during labor you can eat it afterwards so you have something to snack on because let me tell you you are very hungry after you give birth and as for your little baby there's honestly you really you don't need a lot in my opinion diapers but with diapers i recommend bringing two sizes because you don't know what the size of your baby is gonna come out really uh so i recommend getting a newborn diaper and then maybe like a, a size up so size one uh, just because again you could have a smaller baby or a big baby in my case my first baby was big he did not fit in newborn diapers he was 8 12 it was just too much of i think it was too much of a squeeze for him so thank goodness i brought two different sizes i brought newborn and size one so and you don't need to bring a lot and i think hospitals and midwives they have this stuff but again it's nice to bring your own then wipes as well this is probably not necessary because i mean all these clinics have wipes but again it's nice to bring your own so up to you and then um an outfit 
for them to go home in. So this is not the outfit that she's gonna wear, but this is just something to pull out. Look how small that is. Like, that is so tiny compared to me. This is a newborn size, by the way. Um, she's not gonna wear this, but I, I still have to wait for my baby shower because when I'm getting there, I'm gonna pick out her outfit to go home in, which I'm so excited about. But again, same thing with diapers, getting two sizes. I recommend in clothing, get him or her two different sizes, newborn and zero to three months. And then also hat and mittens as well. And if you are getting a onesie or anything, I definitely recommend getting the onesies where they have this little sleeve that folds over like this. So that way they avoid trying to scratch their face because I'm telling you, those newborn nails are so long when they come out. And I think everybody knows this, obviously having the car seat ready to go a little bit early, maybe a few weeks before the due date. And dad will also need to bring some stuff also. It's usually just, you know, extra clothes and whatever he wants to bring, phone, charger. Um, he doesn't need a lot of stuff like the mom and baby do. But that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little roundup this list of things that i'm bringing so again you really do not need a lot like trust me you do not need a lot also check with your hospital with your doctor midwife to see what they do provide while you're in labor and delivery and postpartum care i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new and i will see you very soon in my next one bye